Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we finally converged the story between Saga and Alan, uh, where both their stories kind of, you know, finally meet up. Um, and while Saga was uh, still in Watery, about to make her way back, Alan and Alex, um, they were still at the... Uh, they were still in Bright Falls and the... Hotel, I guess. Motel. Whatever they're at. And they got attacked by the Cult of the Tree. When Alan woke up, Alex was nowhere to be seen. Saga was still on her way, presumably. And we wandered off into the forest. Um, about to be attacked by... Actually, we did get attacked by a few cult members. Uh, Saga intervened at the last minute. Uh, taking down one of the cult members, who turned out to be Ilmo. And right then and there, the FBC swooped in and took control of the situation. Ha 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 ha. I'm so smart. And then, uh, yeah, they took Alan away. They were still looking for Alex. They said they'll take care of it. And they basically took the investigation away from us. But that's not going to stop us. We got a call from Grandpa Odin, who says that there's something important he needs to tell us. And he's at the Valhalla um, old folks home. Uh, I forgot exactly what it's called. I know it's called Valhalla. We made our way there, and Rose is basically looking after them, saying that Tor... Um, was it Tor or Odin? Someone got hit in the head, and they're sleeping it off. And that's where we're at right now. Uh, bear with me, folks. It's actually been about a week, a little over a week since I've played... So, things will start coming back to me sooner than later. Got my Arizona. Okay, what are we rocking here? Rock around the rocket chair. So we still have like two packs, two fanny packs to find, or two pouches, whatever the fuck you want to call them. The Pat Main Radio Show. So we actually heard a few times from Pat Main on the radio. Oh, very old. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel him. and Spa, they call it, ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. But the bunker has a tendency to flood. Especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesburgh, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. <laughs> Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, t teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist. I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for 
five years. And in that time, I have never heard Norris sing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. Ati. Hi. So it's interesting they actually still gave him radio access. And he still thinks that someone's alive. Like the the person who, uh, who gave out like the jerkies or something. I don't know. There's an interesting little room. Interesting little nook. Who's here? Old Guards of Asgard. Okay. So. We'll come back here afterwards. I want to explore the rest of the place first. Ooh. This is Tor's room. Tor no home. Oh, I hate the sound of flies, especially when it's like right in my ear. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? Maybe. This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Hmm. I'm surprised they let him keep a drum set here. Darn it. The fuck was that? Oh, it's the ceiling's dripping. I thought something would like jumped up, and I'm like, what the fuck was that? Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? Yeah, you did. I thought not. No, you did. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Good. You can use it. Oh. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Hmm. The Anderson farm. That woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Yes. So why is there a dart on Tor? A painting with Mom and I with Odin and I couldn't read the rest. The Sea of Night. To drink from the cup of the wise one for wisdom to be a seer. I gave up my eye in the light of the moon to shine and see. The many worlds to madness and beyond across the dark dreaming sea. The branches path, the branching paths of the tree, I gave up my eyes so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before and will keep on meeting still. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the well of wisdom, the cauldron. 1976. I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988. He who stands on the threshold took it from me. Time will come again to be writ again. He who stands on the threshold. Nordic nature. Well, there's one of the ravens. Is that, uh, what are the ravens? Is it thought and memory? Something like that. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Uh. Odin Anderson, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Sure, let's go to the profiling. Hangover. 
Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? So, if she has the power, does he mean, like, um, what, what they write about or what they sing about actually comes true? Like how, what the power, basically, that Alan has. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. Yeah, I really think... Uh, I know I've kind of wavered a little bit on the, on the cult. But I really think they're trying to do, like, some good. Um, they're probably going about it the wrong way. Un unless, again, I'm mis completely misunderstanding the situation. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. <laughs> Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. Oh, we're getting a lot out of this, eh? You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer. Never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor's marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? No. It wants to take him. And then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Is Cynthia Weaver Stop becoming this taken? Before more people get hurt. Okay, and the clicker. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake.
Okay, so what do we got here? Tor. While the cult has been trying to recruit them for years, he and Odin rejected all their offers. Um, so this one will go up here. Not cult members. Yeah, obviously. All right. Oh my god, we got a lot to go through. All right, Casey's lunchbox. Mandy May has the knit design I've been finding on the lunchboxes. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Uh, goes there, I guess. She mentioned she's been making them for Rose. Lunchbox found at the nursing home in Bright Falls. What are these? Affirmations? I mean, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, it would make sense that Rose is the one leaving them. Because they're very positive messages. They're very fan fiction uh, with Alan's work. And who's his biggest fan than Rose, right? Lunchbox found in the woods. Cookies? Who is this supposed to be for? Okay. Cult stashes. So this one's... Bright Falls. Note inside this one talked about going bigger. Wonder what they mean. Who's the who's this note for exactly? Did the cult expect someone to break inside? And the watery dogs. Sure. The stash was barely concealed at all, just sitting on the pier. Yeah, but I think it became more evident after the, the tide washed away. Uh, okay, the story. So we still can't do these ones. Fact versus fiction. A painting of Mom and I with Odin and Tor in Odin's room. Oh, it's found in Odin's room, right? That's it. This looks exactly like Mom, and that's me. Is this still part of the story? Odin spoke directly to me in the Mind Palace. It felt... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. It felt different, clearer, like a conversation. What does this mean? He called me a seer. Communicating in the mind palace. I mean, yeah, she's pretty obviously a seer. She's a visionary. Um, Anderson Brothers. So, art like Wake's writing has the power to change reality. The clicker magnifies that change. <sighs> Clicker needs to be used with Wake's writing. Does it really have the power to fix this? The clicker is an amplifier. Alone, it's not very useful. Yeah. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. So clicker amplifies Wake's writing. Has the power to fix this? Make it worse? This is why Wake needs the clicker. Can he be trusted with the power to change reality? Can anyone? I didn't realize it was an amplifier. I thought it like made its own... Um, like it made its own power. Because like when you click it, light just comes. Right? Like it creates light. What does it amplify? It amplifies Wake's writing. Such a weird concept to me. Uh, look for Tor in his room. He's in danger. Bad things happen in the wellness center. <sighs> Odin seems really worried about his brother. I should see if Tor is in his room. Tor's bedroom has been trashed. Tor is not okay. Something's wrong Something with Tor. Something's definitely going on here. Told Odin I'd check it out. Wellness center? Tor wasn't in his room, but the place is a mess. Odin mentioned the wellness center. Wellness Center. I should check there. So Norman, Tor had uh, Tor had some kind of accident. Odin is sleeping hmm. upstairs. Maybe Odin can tell me what happened to Tor. And Rose, Tor and Odin are resting and ha can't have guests. Rose isn't being helpful, but they are. But they must be around here somewhere. Yep, yep, yep. And this stuff still didn't work. 
Okay. I think that's everything for now. Oh. Who is trying to see me in New York in a fancy hotel? This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Needless to say, that did not put a smile on my face. Do a quick save. Um, you know what? Let's put um, move. No, what am I doing? We'll move that so I can grab the batteries. That fit in here. Okay, let's head upstairs. This place seemed better days, eh? Huh. It's that spiral room again. Getting in is forbidden. For your own safety. Time is long. For those who wait. But in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Okay. Can't see your room? I was really looking forward to seeing your room, Auntie. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to that. Yep. She's definitely been the one. Definitely been seeing these kind of patterns by the uh, lunch boxes. There is a lot of screen tearing going on. Uh Norman Need the key. Gale. Okay. And Cynthia. Cynthia, eh? Well, something tells me we'll be back. Because we got a lot of rooms to explore. Let's see if there's anything new in Tor's room. After speaking with Odin. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, Rose. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay. I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Oh, looks like Otzi's back down here. Oh, nice. A minute, uh... The lazy man gets sweaty when he eats, and he gets silly when he works. <laughs> okay, let's do it. 
Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. She knows what's up. I need bolt cutters. Hmm. Ward reception, examination, patient room, rehabilitation, dining room, dispensary. Wow, this place is pretty big for a wellness center. Computer. Be ready, Saga. Dark and empty like my soul. So, what, pray tell, is Tor doing in this closed off area all by himself? In the dark, no less. Tor, I'm coming for you, buddy. Hello? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. Okay, just double checking my weapons. Something black there. See something moving around. It's a manuscript page. <coughs> Tor is bewitched. Oh no. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That Weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. We had this, the wellness center. Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. Is Tor Taken turning into a Taken? Odin asked me to help him. What's really going on here? Tor becoming Taken, and where is Tor? Yeah. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. So I'm not taken. Dark presence manipulating him, destroying him. And these are still, yeah, okay. All right, one second. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, I have to turn on my AC. It's sweltering.
It's sweltering in my room right now. It's just gonna sound a little weird. But I apologize. Tor was here. Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out by knocked out on floor by foam. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out cold. So brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. VB. Who's VB? He's hurt pretty bad. But he tore off his bandages. Why? So, chart says Tor's behavior has been increasingly volatile. volatile. Tor's been acting strangely, violently. Tor's assigned bed is empty. Oh no. Oh, there. Where's Tor? If Tor was brought here to rest, he didn't stay long. Bloody bandage found on Tor's bed. Blood is still fresh. Why remove a bandage when you're still bleeding? That's a good question. Must be locked from the other side. Must be. Only explanation. That led to there. Okay. Sand room two is locked. Dispensary. This is rehabilitation. Uh, I'm gonna guess he's in there, so I'm gonna go here first. Got a shoebox. Let's put. You know what? Let's move. He's out of the way for now. Okay. Let's head on in there. is available now. I'm gonna go back in here. Let's work on the board. Door lift through the cafeteria door. Oops. Tor left the wellness center. Towards inside the wellness center. But he just left the wellness center apparently. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop using the board and just focus on the actual game. Oh come on! Door is locked electrically. So was that Cynthia Weaver that we've been seeing? An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely.
see. Oh, there's a gun at the end there, apparently. Or a workshop? Oh, boy. Anyone in there? Door needs a knob. Needs a knob. Well, a security I computer. Definitely don't have a knob on me. What is this? Okay. Why do we need to know the full moons? Or the moons? What is this, Persona 3? Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I'm one of the gang now. Dosvidanya to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about town Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month, everything will change. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. It smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Uh huh. Glad to meet a bloom. You have been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. Ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon, as is tradition. Cult of the Tree welcomes you. Yako and Ilmo. Koskela. The Koskela brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. I mean, that was pretty obvious. When we played as Alan. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. Alright, let's try this. Password protected security computer. The computer must unlock the door if I can figure out the password to get in. Letter sitting initiations the day after the new moon. You're just assuming that's the password. Bloom recently joined the cult. Is anyone here not a damn cultist? I'm, I'm not a cultist. As far as you know. Bloom was looking forward to something in August. Mm. He sounds excited. Wonder what he was planning. Some dates are circled. Calendar shows phases of the moon. I have what I need to figure out the password. Yep, yeah, Keita Bloom's password is hidden in his office. And this one there. The computer controls the door that Tor went through. Yep. Lock remotely, access via security computer. Okay, so August. Uh, the day after the new moon. That's, what, that's when it was dated, right? The day after the new moon, so it would be one seven oh eight. One seven oh eight. Oh, cool. And the doors are open. VIP recruits. Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin will be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. Riddle for your rifle. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? 
I'm sick of old people tricks. You bring him back so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on, on deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. V. Bloom. So, VB. Vladimir Bloom. Yeah. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but it's all these clues and you can trace the way to their private space. I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. Oh, okay. I, I know where it is. Wait, this unlock? This is where it's talking about. I think. Oh, it is dark. Oh, that is so dark. Alright. So it's supposed to be here. How can I get there? Is it through here? Ah! Ah! There it is! Steals a fucking doorknob. Oh, God. They're all so soft and sad. I don't know how many are left, by the way. That is a that is a rifle. The cult storms the lodge. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. You're dead. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Yeah, this is right before the, the assault on the hotel. Motel, lodge, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay. taken. Gale Barrows. Violent outbursts resulting from rapid onset dementia. Should be restrained whenever possible until dosage can be found that impedes his aggression. Harry.
Well, I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to have to put him down permanently. Okay, so what we're going to do is for right now move these things. What is this? Rifle ammo. Okay. And I'm actually going to call it here for this episode. Don't want to drag it on too long. Uh, don't really know what's going to happen, obviously. Um, so it seems like we're going to head into another overlap soon. Um, and I really hope we don't have to kill Thor. Or Thor. Tor. Uh, or Cynthia Weaver, to be honest. I, I didn't think that we'd actually have to be... Uh, that Cynthia was going to be... Uh, I figured she'd be part of it somehow, but I didn't think she was going to be a taken. Or possessed in some way, at least. But I guess we'll find out. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.